Hi, everybody. Continuing, building off of our last video where we're demonstrating adding sound into a presentation, we're now going to add sound to a button. And at this point, we can close our Flash Player window because we're done with that and go back to our document where we're working on the stage and go to your car sound layer on the timeline and click frame number 71 on the car sound layer. By the way, the auto recovery dialog box pops up as mine just did here on the screen. Just make sure enable auto recovery is checked and click your yes button and that will go away. Now, Go back to your car sound layer on the timeline and click on frame number 71 of your car sound layer. And remember, you can double check to see if you're on the correct frame by looking down here at the bottom area of your screen where you can see the frame number at the bottom of the timeline here, in which case I've got frame number 71 down there. And that's what we want. Now. The next thing we want to do is edit the button that we're going to add a sound to. In order to do that, I need to make sure my selection tool is active. Then I'm going to draw a marquee around the text, click to continue, to select that. That's what we're going to use as our button. Now, after I've got it selected, I'm going to double click on it. And you'll notice my timeline changes just a bit. This is because I've gone into the timeline where I'm actually editing a button. In this case, my button is the text. Click to continue. And you'll notice on the timeline that the only thing I have on the timeline when I'm editing a button are the four different states that a button in Adobe Flash can take on. The up, over, down and hit states. This is one thing that lets me know that I'm currently editing a button. Another thing that lets me know that, if you look at the top of your screen, you see you have two things here in the upper left corner. B continue, which is the name of the button, and that also lets us know that I'm currently in button editing mode in Adobe Flash the option for scene one would take me back to the original scene and get me out of button editing mode. But for right now, I'm still editing the button, and that's what I want to stay in, button editing mode. All right. You'll notice I have a default layer of layer number one on my timeline at the moment. I'm actually going to insert a new layer here, so I'm going to click my new layer button which now becomes layer number two. I'm going to change the name of that to something a little bit more descriptive. I'm just going to call this sound, S-O-U-N-D. So I'm going to type that in and hit my enter key. And then I'm going to click on the down frame on my sound layer. I actually clicked the wrong layer there, so let me go back up and make sure I'm on the down frame of my sound layer, and then I'm going to insert a blank keyframe there. So I'm going to go to Insert Timeline Blank Keyframe. Make sure you choose the Blank Keyframe option. Now I need to import a sound into my library. So just like I did in the previous exercise, I'm going to go to Timeline, or I'm sorry, I'm going to go to my File menu, highlight Import, and then click on Import to Library. Import to Library. And the same Import to Library dialog box pops back open. This time I want to click on Beep and make sure that's the active sound. And I'm going to click my Open dialog box. And in just a couple seconds you'll notice over here on the right that Beep has been imported into my library. Now, I can preview that if I want by clicking on it, and I see the waveform pop up. I can come up here to the upper right corner of my library panel and click the play button for this sound to preview it.
and you can see it's just a simple beeping of a car horn and this is what we want okay now go back to the properties panel at this point and under the name list arrow which is right here oops sorry clicking on the wrong one make sure you're looking in the right section that helps uh, when you're doing this next step you want to be under the sound section of your properties panel look for the name option click on the drop down list box and you'll notice I have three options here none beep and car sound the default is none I want to choose beep which is the sound that I just imported so click on that and then for syncing which is also underneath the sound section of the properties panel right here click on sync make sure it's set to event which it is by default okay. event that's what you want and now we're actually done editing this button but before we leave button editing mode I want you to notice one thing before we get out of button editing mode if you take a look at your timeline at this point notice on the sound layer beginning in the down state and moving through the hit state you now see a picture of the WAV file for the beep sound that we just added to this document all right I wanted to make sure you noticed that now to get back to our original scene that we were editing in the upper left corner of your flash window click on scene one now we're out of button editing mode and back in the scene mode so we can continue editing the scene at this point we want to test the movie the same way we tested our previous movie so I'm going to come to my control menu highlight test movie and then click on in flash professional the flash professional window will generate an SWF file that's what you're seeing in your preview window now and I'm going to test the movie by clicking on the click to continue button now before I do this I'm going to let you know two things should happen here the first thing should happen is that I should hear the beep that I just dropped in after that you're going to hear the sound of the car that we added in the previous exercise and if you hear both of those sounds you know this movie is working as it should so I'm going to test that right now let's see and there we go there's the beep as well as the sound of the car as the car moves off the screen let's play that one more time just to verify that both sounds are indeed working and at this point since I've successfully completed this portion of the exercise I can save my work so that's what I'm going to do first I'm going to close the flash player window then go to file and click on save to save my work and that is how you add sound to a button in Adobe flash CS6